Now for several months, I have been waxing lyrical about lab golf putters. I have put the mez in my bag and never looked back. But today I want a pro golfer. Lewis Johnson is on the channel. He struggled with his putting in the last couple of years and not happy with what he has currently in the bag. And I've got a feeling that one of these two might just find its way into that pro golfer's bag. Right, Lou, I may have just done you a disservice in the intro because I said you'd struggled with your putting for the last couple of years, and that's probably not what I meant, but you certainly you've switched around with your putter over yeah. the last couple of years. You're not 100% comfortable with it. Before we go any further, what is that current putter in the bag? Uh, yeah, so I've got a Scotty Cameron Red X. Okay. Uh, centre shaft, 34 inch. Yeah. Standard grip. I'd say, what, you don't mind it, but you're not loving it? Yeah, I've putted well with it, but I could give it away tomorrow okay. and I wouldn't be bothered. Okay, so it's, it's, uh, maybe you know. it is time to have yeah. a look then. If anyone hasn't seen the recent What's in the Bag, then uh, certainly check that out and we go through right through from putter through to driver of Lewis's bag. I've got two putters, mate, as you well know, that uh, I'm really interested in your opinion, taking a look at one of them. One of them was the Lab Golf Mez, the mallet style putter, which yeah. you have tried, and we'll yeah. talk about that shortly. The other one is a blade putter, which you haven't tried yet, but I'm really interested to get your opinion. So cool. we'll step on the green and uh, start to get your opinion. So first of all, we're going to kick things off. Lou's trying a few putts with the Mez Max. And basically, can you just talk us through, maybe it's a few more putts, and just tell me what your thoughts were. I know you've tried this before. What your thoughts are on Mez Max and what you like about it? Well, I think it was pretty about. obvious from when we tried it last is I like the fact that it's something that I'd not seen before. Yeah. It's, um, I, I see logic in the concept. Okay. And it's something that intrigued me. Yeah. Um, I felt made it easier. Yeah. And um, everything that you've kind of said about it is is exactly kind of what what I thought, which is quite rare because you get two golfers and they they think different things and um, they feel different things. But we kind of both feel the same, don't we? Yeah. It's, which was it's, which was I didn't expect you to either. You know, I, f I felt that. Um, as we've done the what's in the bag, it's very sort of traditional, your sort of setup, and I thought you might buy into the potential gimmick that this is, do you know what I mean? Um, but you did, and I think it's that interesting bit about that um, it, it almost does what it says on the tin in terms of a putter. Yep. But, what about the profile and the shape? Yeah, I didn't feel as though it was quite right. I, it's, I know it's easy to say when you've just missed three putts, but there was something... I, there was something about it that I didn't, you know, um, you, you love it, don't you? Yes. And I think, well, I love the concept, but maybe not like okay. the um, the way it sits, the way it looks. It yeah. looks a bit boxy, doesn't it? It's, I mean, yeah. it's very easy to line up. Yeah, it, it, but it just it, didn't suit it, your eye. Yeah, Simple I think as that, that would be uh, that would be a fair comment. And I think that's where I've brought up the next putter that we're going to feature. And once again, you know, it's a blind test in terms of what you've seen. I've had my go, I've got my opinions of it. And I kind of like for every reason that, I don't say I don't like it, but I prefer the mares, I think could be the exact reasons why you might like it. So I'm gonna get you another putter. Right, Lou, I've already obviously pre-warned you of what this is, but I'll, uh, I think it's first in hand look at least. What I will say is that it's the mares, it's not the mares, it's the Lab Golf Link 1. Blade putter, I suppose we'll call it. It comes with a very nice head cover. I'm going to take that one off you. First thoughts visually. Let's not go any further than that. Looks nice. Looks nice. Looks right. It's different, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Still different. Interestingly enough, the first thing for me, for you, is that it's centre shafted, yeah. much the same way as the Scottian that you're using. Yes. And I know you've mentioned before you you, you like that idea. Yeah. Um, roll it's a few a blade. Of thing. Let me leave you to it. And it's a it's a blade. I, you know, I've always sort of, I've almost like wanted to play a blade. Yeah. So I always, I, I want to have, and I played a few of them. And then, you know, I always find reasons to find forgiveness and stuff. But what I'm hoping is this is. Yeah, well, it, it, well in theory, for those of you. Is it who, the same? Is it made of the same material? Is it? Is yeah. It, yeah. So yeah. face is the cool. same, but yeah. the, and the concept is the same in the, yeah. the kind of weighting system that's within these lab golf putters. Lie angle balance, it's supposed to help in terms of squaring that putter face up, less torque. So, one thing I like about it is you've got quite a pronounced forward press on the yeah. grip, and yeah. I'm sure this has got 
that element, hasn't it? Yeah. But quite a bit less, so yeah. it, it goes sort of back, but only to sort of to the middle. Yeah. It doesn't go. No, it's and I kind of like that. It, it sort of feels normal to me. This, it, like you know, as if it was a, a normal blade putter. So it's interesting because of the kind of things why I'm dying. I'm, I'm kind of really interested in your opinion on it because these are the reasons why I think you might prefer it. Good pace. Yeah, we'll leave you roll a few putts. Better if that would have gone in, wouldn't it? There you go. A bit sure, but it's it's right on line, isn't it? Okay. I mean, one of my first sort of things would be the grip. Yeah. It's, a di it's got a different grip on it. Is this the grip that comes as standard? So it's yeah. It's a rubber grip. It's got a bit. It's know. a traditional pistol grip again, isn't it? Yeah. Really, what you'd associate <clears throat> with the sort of. I keep separating the two by kind of like that's the that's the better putters. It's the it's you know. I mean, every better putter effectively uses a blade, and you know they've got a pistol grip on. That, that's <laughs> yeah, what, yeah, yeah. If you're looking They're at the pro circuit, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's everything that is. Yeah. But with that balanced face. And this is kind of what I want. I like the feel of this, but. You know, I know the benefits that that adds, but when I when I put that down, I think I'm trying to do something yeah. with it. Alien. Um, where I feel as though I can move this how I how I want to. Okay. But get all the added benefits that the the, the balance gives you. That's a bit, didn't it? In terms of the face itself, Lou, what I mean, because they are, as far as I'm aware, that the face is exactly the same. Um, how does it feel? What would you consider it to be? It's similar, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but there's, there's, a, there's a noticeable difference, I think. I know that one's got a lot of weighting on the perimeter, uh, just as this one is, but I think it's hard to say I prefer something that's so similar, but. I, I certainly like the way that this comes off. But in, in general terms, in the world of putters, I mean, you've gone, you've got a Scotty um, in the bag at the moment, which I, I call a, I think that Scotty you've got quite soft, isn't it? It's quite a yeah. very res responsive. Yeah. It's, this would be um, firm, I think. Yeah, would be a little there. bit harder, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it would be. That's not a bad thing. I certainly don't pick putters on how they yeah. feel. You know, I'm very much a, can I get it in the hole quicker type of, and all, all things would suggest that I like that. Yeah. I, 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 you know, what, that. What, what are your thoughts on the kind of, again, the way the sort of, uh, it's centre shafted, but again, like there's a slight forward press. At a dress, are you, are you sort of sitting it down straight away feeling comfortable or? Yeah, easy to line up. Yeah. That's what I like, the centre shafted. It's got a little sort of sight line on the back here. Yeah. Um, it's just nice. I like the black shaft, the, the contrast between the shaft and the head. Yeah, but very, very different. And if you put them two together, yeah. again, you know, oh, they're, wow. they're chalk and cheese in terms of, I mean, I just want to go back to sort of my experience of the two for a little while. I mean, I couldn't find them. They're very, very different, very different. Yeah. The concept might be the same in terms of the face and um, I certainly as a blade putters go, I enjoyed it. But for me, what the Mez does is everything that I'm looking for in a putter. And like I, just I said, sort that's of, why. Sort of the, the, the big difference there is you don't notice when it's sat on its own, but when you put it down, the blade length, if you sort of pop that in front of that yeah. there, it's, it's quite it's quite a bit it's quite a bit longer, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you know, and I know, I didn't notice that when I put no. it down. Yeah, I, I like I like the way it moves. Uh, you know, I certainly think balance wise, be... weight wise, again, just with the two in hand, is there a different noticeable difference? I find the weight of that a fairly heavy putter. Yeah, yeah is that correct? Would yeah. you agree? Yeah. So again, for me, that kind of the whole thing has been about this kind of pendulum motion that the Mez Max provides. I've talked about it a lot in terms of to adapt I suppose my putting style it's not as pronounced or noticeable in the blade is it so no. again I go back to this thing again if you're a kind of if you're a blade style putter and that's what you're used to that what that's what you've liked yeah, then definitely definitely I feel as though I can go. put how I want to put with that that's and, and the whole sort of thing when we tried this was I feel as though you know and that we, I'd have to change to that. Yeah. That was kind of the theme, wasn't it? Is we, you'd have to sort of suit to, to that. But I think what you've said is what I was trying to say. A lot, yeah, a lot I, better. I think I really like it. 
I think I really like that. I, I, I'm um, could be an expensive trial for intrigued. you. Intrigued, yeah. It's because like even on the longer ones, they, they, I feel as though I can start it online, you know, consistently, which is what what I'm really looking for from a putter, you know. Sold. Good that, isn't it? I just try. Just try a few more with that, mate. Oh, sorry, you want the putter, not the head cover. <laughs> it's a lovely head cover. It is a nice head cover, yeah, to be I fair. like that brown one, but... Yeah. And I think that... <clears throat> what, we were, what we were sort of saying there is... The reason I went for this, the, the centre shafted in, the, in my Scotty Cameron is... I know the putting stroke will arc slightly. Yeah. But I always feel as though I've got to do something, you know. Am I arcing it? Am I, am I not? And I'm not one really, I don't like second guessing myself, I don't like a lot of thoughts. Whereas so, this one, oh yeah, sorry, I yeah. feel as though that one I felt very much had to sort of, you know, back Straight and through pendulum. Whereas this one I feel as though I can kind of let it do what it you wants. I know the stroke is arcing, yeah, yeah. but the, the, the blade feels like it's staying square to where I'm, okay. I'm going. Which well, I is, think in essence that's the sort of principle of what they're trying to do, I suppose. Yeah. And all I've got to do is start hitting it hard enough and we'll be good. Yeah, it's a good line though. Yeah. I mean, again, just being able to, I always think that's an interesting put from the same place, comes up a little bit, a uh, little yeah. bit short, but you're able yeah. to recognize you're, that in the hands and, uh, and make the change. Is that it. not a good thing as Can well? Can you recalibrate? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's it. It's, uh, I really, um, I'm impressed because it, really does what I'm hoping it's doing what I'm I'm looking for it, you know it's giving me repeatability on my start line you know the longer putts I don't feel as though I'm you know if you get the start line wrong on a long putt then you you can yeah. be way out can't you um, I think it's I interesting and I don't feel as though I'm sacrificing anything and that's a big thing isn't it yeah you know, like I said um you know in, the, in other parts of the bags I want to feel as though I'm making the game easier for myself and, yeah and I feel as though that's got a chance. I, I like that we've noticed it's longer, longer sort of. I'd be interested bigger. to see, I think that the experiment would be, and I'm gonna leave it there to be honest with you, there's not a great deal more yeah. we can add. I think, I think in many ways you've confirmed what I thought and what I'd hoped. I'm like a lab golf salesman at the minute. It's just yeah. pity I was flogging you one of these, but the idea is, is that- It's top uh, end, isn't it? It's top end price yeah. wise, but I think for, what I, for everything that I knew that you perhaps wouldn't end up going for that putter, yeah. even though you were very favorable towards it. I think I had it in my head that as soon as I started playing, I thought, you know what? This might be a putter that kind of Lou and the style of player that Lou is, it might suit. And you've just sort of confirmed everything of that in the video it's really really interesting so then what we'll do um if you keep that in the bag for a few weeks yeah. that's the measure i that's how we measure sort of how how positive a club is is when I, when andy has it how much do i want to steal it off him yeah for, and how long for and you do and, I, and this said is the that one camera. i didn't really want yeah you know i i love that and, and I, I love trying it, yeah. but I didn't want it. And yeah. I think this is this has got a chance. He's already it? asked. He has <laughs> <in> <laughs> chance. How long for? When do you need it well, back? Well, I think that's it. But I think from yeah. a video perspective, what I was going to suggest was let's leave it in the bag of Lou for a few weeks. Let's maybe come back to the same video and see what your thought process is then, and whether or not it's something that would make its way into your bag longer term. Right. We've uh, just had to kind of. Uh, it's getting a little bit heavy in terms of the rain, so I think it's time to call it a day. Get that new coffee machine machine yours on the go and uh, get back into the pro shop right as ever thanks for watching thanks to Lou thanks to Hollywell Golf Club which is uh, looking pretty good I'm sure you'll all agree and uh, well, I'll probably see you tomorrow night